Welcome to Rootstam Gaming, and this is Kill Team. Welcome to another game of Kill Team. Um, for once, we're actually going to be playing on the board. This is going to be using the terrain that just comes in the Kill Team box, because I'm actually down at a friend's house. Say hi, Brian. Hello. Hello, there we go. And uh, we're going to be having a classic matchup. This is going to be Death Watch versus Gene Stealers. And I've primarily gone for Gene Stealers because it's easy. 11 points apiece. <laughs> I haven't really got to pick much. Right, so I'm going to take you across to the kill teams. We'll go through some specialists. So we've got in total nine Gene Stealers for 99 points. And uh, thankfully, of course, these are a lot of these gene stealers are from either a, a mixture of the standard plastics and the set that you got with Space Hulk. But I've put them on some modern bases. So this guy here, that's going to have the Terminator on his base. He's going to be my leader for this game. The one with the more, the only one really with the more that I've picked, he's going to be the combat specialist. The one that's bursting out of the ground, he's going to be the scout. And the one with the skulls, I'm just killing people here. Pay attention to what you're doing, don't look for the camera. Uh, <laughs> he's going to be my veteran. Right, let's take over some Death Watch. Right, so this is Brian's Death Watch, six man. Do you want to run us through then, Brian, what you got here? Well, yeah, this is my leader. Yep. It's hey. basically what you see is what you get. He's got an R Specs, uh, he's also got a grapple gun, and yeah. he's the only one that's armed with one. Okay. Uh, he's got. Uh, Heavy pistol and a combat knife. Yep. This guy here is going to be my uh, combat. Uh, sorry, that's that. That's the combat that's specialist. The combat specialist. Yeah. Dark Angel is going to be the combat specialist. Yeah. Demolition expert is the uh, Crimson Fist. Okay. Imperial Fist is. Uh, I think you said sniper. Sniper, yeah. yeah. And then two standard. The two standard. Two both standard. these are. Uh, and these okay. are from different. Cha all from different chapters. I do like the fact we've got a Crimson Fist in there. Always got to have a Crimson Fist in your army. And he's got his uh, his cousin, the Imperial Fist. And I think it's quite nice that you've got an Ultramarine as your sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> they always like to take charge of the Ultramarines. This is going to be a straightforward fr uh, fight, as Brian's not played a lot of kill team. So we're basically just going to be doing um, just like a five inch away from the centre of the board. And trying to murder each other for five turns. It's a learning curve. It's a learning curve. So I am going to sort of like advertise it as a bit of a learning game as well, especially since we are using the terrain that comes straight out of the box. Right, so we're going to roll for sides and set up. We'll see you in a minute. Right, just a little quick synopsis. Uh, I ended up with this side of the board. Bryce ended up with that side of the board. He's got his sniper and his combat specialist down here. Uh, the some of the guys in the doorway. Pay attention to what I'm filming. <laughs> and we've got some more guys towards the back. They look like we're going to be ready for a counter charge. The Gene Steelers effectively just created a line um, because they're just going to want to pile forward as quick as they possibly can to try and murder. There's a couple of guys in here, a little bit dark. I'm just going to try and murder Bry's team as quick as possible. <laughs> right, so we're going to go into the first turn. I'll just move that out of the way. 2d6, that's going to be your initiative, so I've got a 5 and Bry's got 9, so he's going to have a choice. Do you wish to go first or second, sir? So do you want to have priority for this turn, meaning that you move I'll, first? I'll have priority for this turn. You'll have priority for this turn, right, okay, so after the movement, we're going to come back into some shooting. Right, okay, so we've done the movement. Uh, of course, not <laughs> not really creative <laughs> on the gene stealer front. <laughs> it's mainly just charge. charge, and I'm not really within charge ranges, so I'm not going to declare any just to get overwatched. There's a couple of ready guys, so effectively it's just going to be up to Bry to try and shoot the crap out of these gene stealers before anything happens. So pick a marine. You've got to pick a marine that's readied. So the imperial fist, the crimson fist, and I think. Flesh the flesh terror inside there, they've all been ready. So he has to pick them first before he picks other units. So, which one do you want to go with first, sir? I'm going to go with flesh terror first. Flesh terror in the building. Easy, got some line of sight to everybody down here. Right. 
So which guy you want to target? I'm going to try for this guy in the corner. No problem. Definitely within 12 inch range. If you've noticed and watched the channel before, I have been playing this a lot on two foot by four foot boards. This is a lot, it's not a lot smaller, but it's significant that I haven't really got a lot of ranges. So he's going to get two shots because he's rapid fire. And it's minus one for me being in cover. So rather than freeze, he's going to need fours. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> two fours. So you need fours to wound. No. no. Now he does have two command points. He could re-roll a wound if he wanted to. Uh, I'll re-roll one wound. So he's wounded. Right. So he's down to one command point for his turn. Now, using the famous root stem yeah. or if you're religious, save Jesus. <laughs> and I need a five plus. No. I do, I got it. Yeah, the gene stealers have a five plus invulnerable save even in this one. So, you take his counter off and moves to the next guy. Which guy are you going to shoot with next, then, sir? Right, we're going to go across to the Imperial Fist this time. Imperial Fist. He's got Sniper, yep. so he gets to re-roll his ones. Uh, who are you going to be shooting at? It's uh, just going to one shot with your games. pistol. Oh. Sorry. It's all right. Definitely in range. Yeah. It's just it's gonna be a minus one for the range, minus one for the cover. So which guy are you targeting? We're gonna try for gonna try for that one with Simon yeah. Talent, so it's just one shot. Oh, he's rolled two. No. Roll, just roll that just again. One. one dice. Uh, that's actually a miss, because it's yeah. minus one for yeah. the range, and minus one to hit. So that's gonna knock that one off. Your yeah. next one then, sir? Possibly the Crimson Fist. Crimson Fist. He's going to have a range of 24. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's just going to be on a minus two. So he gets to pick. Now, that one there is the veteran. That one there is the combat specialist. So he might be better off picking one of them two. Yeah, I think it's combat specialist. Might combat specialist. Just, just one, one shot for the range. A six. It's a hit. He has hit. He needs a four again. No. No, right. So they are hitting. The Marines are hitting, but they are pinging off. The How carapace. Working well. working well. Working well. I've not taken, just so peeps know, I have not taken extended carapace because I want the re-rolls on the charges. Yes. Oh, sorry, the re-roll. Yes, yeah, the re-roll on charges, I believe. Right, so basically, we all get to shoot normally now. Oh, look, I don't have any range weapons. <laughs> right, yours, Bri. Okay, then. <laughs> so we've got another pistol from the Dark Angel. Yeah, he's in range. And which one's he targeting? It's, uh... I think I can get through to you. Is that your combat specialist? That's the veteran, that one. Well, yep, yeah, in range of the veteran. Thing. It's one, isn't it? Just one dice, needing five. No. Oh, no, that's a fail. Okay. So then. Take that off. And then we've got, got the... Got Templar's going to try now. Yep, yeah, he's got... He's going to go for your combat specialist. And he's got two shots. He's within 12, so he's going to need fours. He's hit twice. I missed him. Oh, one. man. He's hitting. Nice he's occurs. not... He's not... So, a 12 inch range from this guy, plunging down into these. So, he has got range, he's, a, he's, a, he's pretty much in range of everybody. Yeah. In there, that scout is a special. We'll try for the scout then. We'll try for the scout. He's missed because of the range and the minus one to hit. So, first round of shooting from the Marines, not very successful. Rather cool, actually. <laughs> well, well, no, he got some, got some good hits. He just didn't even seem to wound or it bounced off some carapace. So, this is going to come to crunch time on who's going to get the first turn now. So, yep, quickly going into turn two. I've not used any command points. So, all d6 and a three. Oh, two d6. What am I doing? I forgot. I'm, I'm necromunda in. Nine. He's got a nine again versus a six. So, Brian gets a choice. Do you want to go first or second? I'm going to have to try and go first again because I need to do some damage. Right, so he's going to go first again. We're going to come back to it after the movement phase. Right, this is the end of the movement. We've got a hell of a lot of advancing. The uh, Gene Steelers have just basically just gone, Bah! We nearly got a charge up over here, but uh, inevitable fail. And we did get a charge off against the Flesh Terror, so hopefully he's going to live up to his infamous name and not, not have his flesh torn, but do the opposite. The rest of the guys, he failed to charge, and of course he's advanced forward. It does stop Brian from shooting with that guy, but he does have another two peeps readied. Possibly this bloke here. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna need it. And the guy up top. So who are you gonna go with first and sir? Imperial Fist. And who's he targeting? Uh, so he's got a choice here of two standard guys. He could fire at the leader or he could fire at the veteran. 
thinking we're going to have a couple of veterans course. The veteran? We've only got the most bite, really. So we're going to shoot the vet. Now, there is no modifiers, so he needs threes to hit. Just one shot, though, because it's a pistol. To Three. hit, he needs a four to wound. Five. He's wounded. Ah! For once, because he did actually score a hit on me charging guy. For once, I failed. So, I am not within an inch of terrain, therefore... You can, sir, roll a d6 for flesh wounding. So a 1 to 3, it's a flesh wound. A 4 to 6, he is taken out of action. It's a, it's flesh, a flesh wound. So he's been wounded. One flesh wound on him. So he's going to be minus 1 to hit in combat. Damn it. Right, yeah. your next ready guy is this guy up here. Is he going to go for the scout? Or I think gonna... he is, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much going to be within six. Is he again needing freeze? Two, fail. Oh, does he want to come and point that hit? Because he can at the moment, it's yeah, a different phase. Yeah, I think phase. he's going to. No problem. I'll just knock that back down to one. So it's now to one, and he's going to re-roll the shot for the sergeant. The old marine sergeant. It's five. Five. When I did turn up, Brian was naming all of his guys from the name generator. And it's a wound! Oh, oh we've really got to no. save Jeebus. <laughs> and... And that's it because that's, he's, he's, in he's locked in combat, so it's your normal guys. Right. So you've got all sorts of shots here, yep. Uh, just going to go for the guy. Going to go for the guy straight in front, the combat specialist. Two hits. Needs fours. Cool. That's a drop dice. There we go. Roll it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just always roll them on nope. sales. No problem. That's it. Yep, yeah, uh, so it's just one shot with Dark Angel. Nice. Oh man. And then the Crimson. Two. Okay. Two hits. You're getting the hits with these guys, you're just not getting. I'm not getting any wounds. Any at wounds at all. That is insane. So everyone's shot, including this guy up top. It is now time for combat, and I pick a guy that charged. Woohoo! Gonna be him. And I completely forgot how many attacks Gene Sealers had. So it's three attacks for the Gene Stealer. He's going to need threes. Oh, I've got two of them. Two of them. Nearly only one of them. Look to it like to spin. I'm going to need fours to wound any sixes. He's not going to be able to save. And I've done a bribe. Hey! But... It's not just me. <laughs> but there we go. I'm going to command point one of them. And it's still a two. <laughs> oh. So. I pick another charge in you in it, nobody within inches, so it's not really going to matter. So Bride then gets a chance to fight back. He's got a Primaris Marine, it's a Reaver, so I believe it's two attacks on profile. He's hit twice, he's going to need fours. No! None. Again, it's a new phase, so he can reroll one of the dice if he wants to, but I'll leave him with no command points. Yeah, just one. I'll go. Just the one. No. Oh, it's not the same as mine. So at the moment, he's on zero command points for this turn. Right. <laughs> We're gonna now roll for priority for turn three. I've rolled a nine. Hey, your, your turn to roll six. So of course I am gonna go first. It's gonna be a <laughs> hell of a lot of charging. We'll come back after the movement phase. And this is the end of the movement phase. It's a hell of a lot of charging, including up here. All of the primary screens are now in combat, and I'll be honest, Bride did actually hit quite a few peeps, and then still failed to wound Not them. a single wound. Not a single wound. Oh, yep, we also go back up two, so yeah. you've got two. They didn't use any command points for any of this. So, because he, because I've charged with everybody, and Brian unfortunately didn't get a chance to go, I'm pretty much going to be fighting with everyone first, including this guy, because I will get to choose first out of that particular round. So, I'm going to go first against his sergeant. So it's three attacks, it's freeze to hit, that's two hits, it's going to be forced to wound. <sighs> the curse of the one and two. Curse of the one and two, it's re-roll. So I've got a six, now that's going to go straight through your armour because yeah. that's going to be a minus four. So what happens to him? He goes Ooh. out of action. So I do actually get a marine down. Surprise, these are some tough gene stealers, these guys. In fact, no, I don't, because these are two wounds. I forgot, they're uh -huh. Primaris Marines. So he loses a wound. Right. That's it, so next time he gets hurt, I'll get some proper dice out for you in more wounds. Um, so next time he gets hurt, then he will, uh, that's when I roll to see whether or not he's out of action. So he's lost a wound. I'm just gonna sweep down, so this guy, 
He's, he's hit three times. And he, again, he's wounded once with the six. So he can't save it. So that guy's lost a wound. So do you want to put another one down there? And then him against the Dark Angel. In fact, actually, I think that were a combat. It doesn't matter. Two hits on the Dark Angel. One wound on the Dark Angel. Now, he does have a four plus save. It's a minus one for any cause. No. Nope. So he suffers a wound. I'm not killing him. This guy here, now he's got a flesh wound, so he will be hitting on fours. Two hits. That's a one wound with a minus one on the Black Templar. No. Again, do you want to use a command point to reroll to save? Because yes, he's I'll fighting two one. people, him. So he's going to go down one. He has used now his command point in the assault phase. Ooh. And he saved it. He so the that. second guy attacking. Three hits. Two wounds this time. These fours. So one's gone through. It's gonna. I'll use my last command point. Ah, you've already used the command point in this phase. So oh, you can't right, use okay, another sorry. one. Uh, but he hasn't got a wound on him, so he's only wounded once. Might have to get you some more wound counters, right? <laughs> These guys. Him first. And that's two. And two wounds on the um, the Imperial Fist. So he's suffered one wound. I'll attack with him before you put a counter on, just in case. Three hits. One wound again, needs a four plus. I think you might need to... He's Ooh. saved! So, he's actually saved. So, <laughs> pretty much every single... Oh yeah, I've got him to do against him. Yeah. Hit twice. Didn't wound at all. I've not used a... You've got your side I have used one well. in me, yep. Oh yeah, there's a guy inside as well, isn't there? Yep, so... Another one from the action, tell me that. Scout's not flesh wounded, is he? No, it's fine. So two hits and one wound against that marine. And no. again, another wound. So all the primary marines have been wounded by this charge, but they are not dead. So Bri's gonna basically just have a flurry of attacks back. Right, bear with me a sec. So right we're now. Gonna... Yep, go on. So we're gonna try again now with Space Hulk <laughs> and see if he's working any better for me. I'm not hopeful. <laughs> Right, so the Primaris Sergeant has got yeah. three attacks on profile and he's got a combat weapon, so he's going to get four attacks, needing freeze. Oh. Wow. They are a lot better. He's going to need force to wound. He's got two wounds. Two. Ivory versus Ivory. He's got one through, so that's one wound damage. See what you do. Takes him out. So he's gone. Uh, just, you can go down the thing yeah, if you want. Yeah, go down and across. So where, where's he going to put his attacks? Or is he going to uh, split them up a little bit? I he's got going to try to split them up. He's got two attacks. So, one are going to use each? Which one first? So, we'll do this guy first. No he's hit. And he's not wounded. Well, and then so the guy behind, behind him. He's hit. hit. And not he's not wounded. wounded. So that's very reminiscent. <laughs> yeah, but I think we've gone back a phase. There we go. Then two. That's quite an easy one. Two attacks, Primaris Marine, no, no hits. Then the Combat Specialist, so he's going to get two attacks profile, plus one for his weapons, plus one because he's a Combat Specialist. He's got four attacks. Needing freeze. Three. Needing fours. Two. This guy's already flesh wounded. Two wounds have gone through. Now, just because, of course, we're doing this training game, he's taken two wounds, you only roll once. Um, right. He dies, but you are going to plus one because I've already got a flesh wound. So okay. roll one dice to see what happens to me. It's a three, turns it into a four because the flesh wound takes out another Ooh. stealer. This is not good. This is a turn of events. This is not good at all. Right, right this guy here, is he putting yeah. one attack against each or? Uh, who's this guy? That's my veteran. Right, I'm going to throw both attacks into your veteran. Both attacks into the veteran, that's flesh wounded. One hit. He's wounded. He's saved. I've got a five. Cool. There we are. Then this guy, he's going to have three attacks. He's also a demolitions. Oh, no, he's the sniper. It was yeah. the other guy that was demolitions, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put. I've got three anti. You have, yes. I'll put two into this guy. Yep. One to the guy at the back. So we'll no two problem. first. Sure. One hit. One hit. No wounds. And then the one on the back. Okay. One hit, one wound. 
gone through. Uh, not multiple wounded like you guys. He's taken him out. So <laughs> the gene stealers have hit the Primaris Marines lines. The Primaris Marines have bent. And they have not yielded. And I've lost three gene stealers out of my nine on that turn. And I've got a couple of flash wounds to consider taking morales on. This is not looking good. <laughs> Right, so the leadership of the Gene Stealers is nine. So the flesh wounded ones at the moment cannot fail. So one of his, two of his guys are no longer in combat. We still need to roll for priority, 2d6. I got an 11 and I got a nine. So I will have priority, but I can't move. Whereas he can, so my movement phase, whoopee, I've done. <laughs> Bry's movement phase, and we'll come back and show you some results for shooting because he's going to be fine, able to fire some of the pistols that these guys are carrying. Now, uh, he tried to charge with this guy, failed, but he has managed to charge with his combat specialist, and now he's on the pistols. Woohoo! So he's going to go first with this guy because all his marines have got pistols. One shot then, he's going to go into the vet. It's a hit, it's a wound. Five plus invulnerable. Nope. And plus is one. That's ah, so that's wound. another flesh wound. So he's stacking these flesh wounds up. He's now on two. So he can't shoot pistols with him because he's just charged with his turn, but he can with the other three. So he can yeah. with him. Yep. Crimson fist. He's hit. Now he's oh, yeah. demolitions and he's firing a shot, so he can reroll once to wound. I didn't Still wounds. It still fails. You've still got two command points left if you want to keep all that dice again. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Oh, no, my, my God. God. And you can't re-roll or re-roll. Right. Okay. Um, that one? That's, yeah, that's a good point. You can't re-roll or re-roll, so you wouldn't have been allowed to do that. That's my yeah. fault. Apologies. Get okay, your command point back. Flash Terror. What's he doing? He's going to shoot here. Shoot the normal guy. He's hit. He's wounded. He's wounded. He's taking him out. Woo! So that's four stealers right. down. Imperial fist. All right. That He's got to shoot guy. him. He's failed. <laughs> Even if he would have rolled one, not a problem. He could have actually re-rolled that, but unfortunately he didn't. Never mind. So we then go into the combat phase. Now I got priority, so I get to pick a combat before Bri does. So I really am going to go with my veteran here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try and take out because I can choose anybody within an inch, because I'm not charged this turn. So I'm going to try and take out his lovely Dark Angel. So I'm going to freeze. Oh, we got three hits. Ah, oh, yeah, mother. Right. I'm going to command point. Yeah. <laughs> Reroll one of these. I need that Dark Angel to die. So this is two wounds on the Dark Angel. He needs force to save. Oh! <laughs> Right, so you get to pick, you've got to pick the Dark Angel because he charged, actually. Yeah. yeah, never mind. I think I've done that wrong, but it doesn't matter, he fails. Right, go ahead, sir. So it's so two, four. Because he's your combat specialist. So yes. this is four attacks. Needing freeze. Yep. Three. And one wound. I'm guessing it's against the wounded guy. It is, yeah. Yep. So he's, he's gone through, it's gonna be a plus two. Definitely out of action. That's another Gene Stealer gone. It's not looking good for the gene stealers at all here. I didn't realise these were Primaris Marines. Built of sterner stuff in there, younger brothers. <laughs> uh, me then. I'm going to go with this guy. See if I can take out that... Uh... There we go. And that's one wound which you can't save because it's a six. It's a minus of four. So it's going to go straight through your armour. So what happens to the Space Marine? Oh. God damn it, it's a flesh wound. So I finally get past the pesky wounds of the Primaris, only to actually have a flesh wound, so you can take that off now. Right. There we are. And Space Marines, all Space Marines, ignore the first flesh wound that they receive for the purposes of attacking. <laughs> now I've gone with him already, so to be honest with you, Brian's possible tactic would be to either go with this guy or the guy inside there before I get to fight with those guys. We're going to go with the Crimson. Crimson, face. no problem, two attacks. One hit. He gets to reroll once to wound. He has wounded. He has wounded. Wounded my combat specialist. He's oh, taking him out. Oh, oh. What the? My God, this is a turn. Bloody hell. 
Right, so I get to choose one. I'm going to choose the scout before <laughs> he gets killed. Oh, oh, three sixes, wrong. three sixes. I got one wound with a minus one. He's failed it. He's a goddamn flesh wound! <laughs> uh, I did so well in the first few turns. Now, Brian does get a chance to go with that guy. So he might as well. Two attacks. One hit, he ignores the flesh wound. Yeah. It's gone through. For oh, flip's sake, it's another dead stealer! And look at the beautiful artwork on this. <laughs> oh. I am now down in one round to two. I can't believe it. Two stealers. My leader and this bloke here. Well, this bloke here, I'm going to try and. Oh no, he's already gone. Yeah, so Brian now can attack with this guy. God damn it. <laughs> Three attacks with the sniper guy. Two hits. No ah. wound. Actually, yeah, it ignores that first bit. So no wound. So I actually think now that Brian suddenly thought, yeah, it's going to be such a short game. It has been a short game. What the hell? <laughs> There's no way on God's green earth I'm going to be able to pull this one coming. back. Did not see that coming. Right, well, that's it then. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost a lot of men. A couple of flesh wounds, wounded all of his marines, but a couple of flesh wounds. The Primaris, Death Watch, are very, very tough indeed. Very tough indeed. Well, all I can say is thanks for watching. Um, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Rootstem Gaming. And you can buy t-shirts from Teespring, just put into the search bar Rootstem Gaming. That's it. A very short one this time round. See you later. Wow. Thanks bye. for watching. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye says bye. Yeah. <laughs>